I think this COVID situation might be making me a wee bit peculiar for some reason, which is still a mystery to me. I thought it'd be a great idea to order a five pound bag of gummy bears. Not just any gummy bears, but Albanese. Their tagline is something along the lines of the greatest gummy bears in the world, made in the USA and Indiana, a five pound bag of wild cherry gummy bears. I don't know why, but yeah, wild cherry is my favorite flavor. When I was uh, working at an advertising agency, I used to go to uh, a post-production facility and I used to eat all the cherry Jolly Ranchers in a little dish while people did their thing. And it got to the point where they would have an intern when I would come in specifically just pick out the, the cherry Jolly Ranchers and put them in a bowl for me. So I've always had a penchant for cherry candy, but for some reason I thought, well, while we're quarantined at home, Let's get diabetes. So here it is. Wanted to include this in some video. It's been kicking around for a week and I just want to open the damn bag already. Let me eat my gummy bears, people. Having said all that, let's move on to the topic at hand. So the topic at hand here is I've gotten a few requests uh, to show how to program an ESC. And uh, this is uh, an opportunity for me to make a shout out to uh, R Mamba Brushless on eBay. Uh, he is the official retailer for Flyer ESCs on eBay, I believe. Specifically, Raphael. Raphael, you are one stand up dude. I thank you very much. Because, as we know, we blew up the other ESC, even though it was technically within the specifications for both peak and running power, it was kind of pushing the line. So I sent an email to the manufacturer, and the manufacturer, I didn't actually hear back from them, so I sent an email to the seller, which was Raphael at R Mamba Brushless, and he got back to me and he said, hey, you know, I mean, I showed him a clip of the video and he said, hey, I could help you out. And he did, and looky what showed up a little while ago this guy. So this one is up to 22 cells, 400 amps continuous, 450 peak. Uh, oddly enough, it's actually a slightly smaller form factor in every dimension, but width. So it looks like there's MOSFETs on both sides. So I had ordered a second fan that's already here. Every, in fact, <laughs> I'll tell you guys some, the blower is already mounted on the car. I just have to do this and then we're going to do some testing. I've already got some folks lined up, a place lined up, and that's going to be great. Hopefully it's going to be sooner rather than later. But again, I got some requests to uh, uh, how to program uh, uh, one of these flyer ESCs. You know, I know if you're looking around on eBay, you see they've got pretty good prices and everything else. And you're like, well, is there going to be any support? Could I actually work with this thing? I had the same thoughts uh, until I ordered it and it was actually really dirt simple. So in order to program one of these ESCs, at least the way I was doing it, or I am doing it, or I did it before and I'll do it again. And I just did it and I love to do it and name that movie. Anyway, so this is actually a USB port. The ESC actually comes with this pigtail right so all you really have to do is just plug in tab a into slot b over here you got to make sure of course that the wires all line up and then you just simply plug this into your computer you install the driver first but i'll show you all that when i get over there but this is really all you do you make sure nothing else is connected there's no batteries there's no receivers nothing else is connected to this thing when you program it it powers itself through the the usb port uh, but that's basically it so let's go over and take a look see how it's actually done i'll meet you at the computer all right so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to go to flyer electronics uh co.ltd as you see in the top of the screen but uh it's basically flyermodel.com is where this will get you here and specifically forward slash en forward slash downloads .html, but i will put a link in the description below and the first thing you're going to need is to install this usb linker driver so that's basically pretty straightforward you click on the download button you download it you install it and boom you have a driver so the next thing you're going to do is you will download and install Flyer ESC program and update software v3.2 English. So once you click on the download button, it pops up and you'll save it. Uh, here's a note. These are RAR files. I'm not a fan of these things, but you'll probably have to use WinZip or some other extractor to extract it. But once you actually download it, then you extract it, then you install the software. So here's how this works. So once we have that going, you literally just plug the USB into your computer, as I will do here. You will hear its tones. 
So the computer knows it's there, it sees it, but nothing's come up. So what I'm gonna have to do then is fire up the software itself. So when you click on the Flyer PCS software, you just saw it just identified the ESC. Your ESC type is Air 3 through 24S, even though it's really uh, 22S rated, but that's what it popped up as. Uh, it tells you your firmware version and everything else. So anyway, so this is how you do it. It's really kind of dirt simple. So you've got all these different tabs, battery, throttle, reverse, motor, brake, so on. We'll go through them. But under battery, you can select your battery type and lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and uh, lithium iron, um, A123 cells, you know, but lithium ion polymer, LiPo cells are what most people are gonna use. Uh, you can tell it how many cells you're using or you can just leave it to auto, I just leave it to auto. Uh, LVC cutoff voltage is low voltage cutoff, so it's actually redundant. It's like Manos hands of fate. That's like saying hands, hands of fate. Uh, Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, LVC cutoff voltage. So that's low voltage cutoff uh, per cell. That's per cell. That's not obviously the total battery pack. Typically 3.2 is a good place because, you know, you go too much lower, you can actually damage a uh, lithium ion battery if you go below it. So I just leave that there. Uh, the low volta voltage cutoff mode, uh, it's how it does it. Basically, it drops 20% power, 30% power, 50% power, or just a hard cutoff or a slow cutoff. Because we have the mechanical fuse in the electric Vortec, uh, I prefer the slow cutoff. So basically, this is set up how I want it to be. So let's look at the throttle. So throttle, you have a throttle curve. Uh, you have a log, a linear, or an exponential. So log is, of course, the kind that goes up quick and levels off. Linear is basically a straight line. If you were to look at a graph on an X and Y axis, it'd be a 45 degree straight line bisecting uh, uh, the X and Y, uh, the 90 degree angle they form. And then exponential, of course, would be, a kind of, it's kind of a slow rise until you get to a certain point and then it basically becomes almost perfectly vertical. Uh, for what we're doing, there really is no throttle curve, so I'll just leave it at linear, it's fine. Acceleration, soft, medium, or hard? Well, this one, even though I, you know, we're not gonna really accelerate it, just in case we do, I'm gonna change this one to soft, all right? And then there's set any and endpoints. I don't know what that is. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. It really doesn't have an effect on what we're doing. Reverse, so, you know, rotation left or right in air mode. And that's, you know, with a brushless motor, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you wanna reverse the rotation, all you gotta do is swap any two of the wires because it's really a three phase motor, but I've gone through that in other videos. So this doesn't really make any difference either. So I'm gonna leave that there. Motor. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So you have your timing monitor on or off. I'm not really sure what that does. If somebody knows, go ahead and put that down in the uh, comment section below. But basically motor timing degrees. This is actually kind of analogous without going into the details. There's people who gave much more thorough uh, and in-depth videos on this on YouTube. You can look it up. But basically motor timing is sort of analogous to internal combustion engine timing. The more timing you give it, the more power it's gonna make. But in the case of uh, uh, an internal combustion engine, the more timing you give it up to a point, you could blow the thing up if you pass that point. Here, it's kind of similar. What apparently happens is the motors become less efficient but deliver more power. So if something becomes less efficient and delivering more power, what is that equal to? Heat. Uh, with a motor the size of what we're using though, I'm gonna generally keep the motor timing at zero. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. Uh, again, that's uh, a lengthy conversation I had with Thomas at Castle Creations who uh, uh, helped me out with that information. And as far as uh, PWM, that's uh, pulse, width, pulse width modulation. Uh, you can have it on an eight kilohertz time base, 16 kilohertz or 32 kilohertz. 16 kilohertz is actually optimal for this setup based on conversations I've had with, again, with Thomas mostly. Um, so thank you, Thomas. Uh, so let's look at braking. Braking, uh, this is if, you know, if you want the motor to actively slow the propeller or whatever down, we don't, again, mechanical fuse, it'll just unscrew the bolt. So we wanna leave that to off, but the options are from off all the way through extra soft to extra hard. Nah, it's too easy of a joke. Anyway, so let's move on, let's look at power. So start power, now this one I actually do change. So start power, I don't wanna whale that thing with the impact socket and the six millimeter bolt. I don't wanna whale it with full power. I don't know where auto is, but I found that about 30% start power is 
adequate to get it going and then it can ramp up to speed from there that's that's a good happy medium uh, helicopter mode that's for a helicopter ESC it's great out here it's not even an option and then load values that's just to default it so anyway so let's go back let's just verify so we have our start power at 30 percent we didn't change anything here motor we set the timing to zero we're leaving the monitor on and uh, pulse width modulation at 16 kilohertz uh, reverse rotation again doesn't really matter for what we're doing because we will just adjust the wires and the throttle curve we're leaving but the acceleration we changed to soft and the battery type auto is fine and everything else so now all you have to do is hit write values to ESC now writing to the ESC the configuration was written into the ESC the ESC was programmed okay please disconnect the ESC so we simply unplug the USB and that ladies and gents is it so that is basically how you program a flyer esc it's actually really simple and like i said you know our mamba brushless the seller on ebay rafael specifically massive props to you thanks for helping me out basically he contacted the manufacturer obviously he has connections there and uh you know he basically got me this one for the difference in price which is you know fantastic so thumbs up to him uh, thanks again and that's it that's how you program one of these guys so if you're gonna if you're considering buying one of these I would not hesitate to recommend them um, you know that you have a direct connection to someone Raphael especially now after watching this video uh, the programming is very simple they do work um, you know and it's it to me it seems like a, a fantastic deal for what you get so I know some people you know had various differing feelings on these things but uh you know my experience has been actually fairly positive so you know thumbs up to flyer and thumbs up to uh uh once again Raphael. so that's how you program one of these guys next up let's go make some boost subscribe